The musical Curtains, guys. It is a musical written by Rupert Holmes, known for Chicago and Cabaret. And it is a send up of backstage murder mystery plots set in Boston in 1959. Police Lieutenant Frank Chaffee is called to the theater to investigate the murder of the supremely untalented star of Robin Hood of the Old West during her opening night curtain call. And joining us now are two stars of the show Carolyn Hogan, who is playing Carmen Bernstein, and Scott Fitzgibbon playing Aaron Fox. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. So, this is exciting. You, you were saying, uh, you know, like I said, this is a musical I was unfamiliar with. David Hyde Pierce won a number of Tonys. He won for the, the show. best leading actor in a musical. Best leading actor right. in a musical. Right. Uh, and this was in 2006, is that right? 2007 was when he won the Tony. Okay. Oh, right. So tell us a little bit about this. This sounds, I love murder mysteries. I love yeah. whodunits and, you know, I have a background in musical theater. Mm -hmm. So share a little bit more about this. Well, it's a musical comedy murder mystery. Okay. okay. It's about the show that is doing its preview in Boston, getting all the kinks ironed out before it goes to Broadway, mm -hmm. and one of the cast members dies on stage. Wow, okay. But Lieutenant Chaffee, who is sent in to investigate the homicide, is a wannabe actor. <laughs> and he spends the entire show going between trying to serve the, solve the murder and trying to rewrite the show. <laughs> So it's, it's right. very, very funny. Very cool. Very so funny. we'll start with you. What, what drew you to, to this production? The music. Okay. The music's just mm -hmm. spectacular. Yeah. It's uh, written by folks who knew what they were doing for sure. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, it goes back and forth between the show within the show, which is be constantly being rewritten and rewritten, and mm -hmm. then uh, sort of our sort of standard musical interludes. But uh -huh. the music's just spectacular. Okay. That's fantastic. And you? I really love the Adobe Theater, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm sort of partial to things that are done there. I like Jane and Cy Hoffman, who are directing it. I really enjoy working with them. And mm -hmm. the context of this was just pure fun. Yeah. Okay. Silly fun. Yeah, it sounds that like That leaves it. the audience smiling and, mm -hmm. and laughing as they walk out. Now, one thing I think that it's interesting, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. First of all, it's a musical happening mm -hmm. at the Adobe Theater. If you've never been there, it's a black box theater, which means it's a smaller right. venue. It's a pretty small, it doesn't take up, you know, a lot of square footage. And originally, this piece was written for 30 actors. Right. You've con condensed it to 14. Mm -hmm. How do you make that happen in the Adobe? Lots of costume changes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of costume changes. It has to be orchestrated just very tightly mm -hmm. to make everything work. And as you had said during the break, the green room is very small there. Yeah. So you have to have a cast that's cohesive and willing to work together and, and chip in. Yeah. And be a real team. And be a real team. I think that's a great yeah. point. Yeah, being right. a real team to make the show happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Scott, you are mm -hmm. going to be sharing the stage with your wife. Yeah. How is that? Is it challenging? Is it fun? She's probably watching, so you have to be um, really nice. Yeah. She, it's great. <laughs> it's yeah. That's the it's answer. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it's great. We met on stage, really, and okay. uh, mm -hmm. we've been doing it together for a while. It's the first show we've done together in a number of years. Really? So, Very uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so do you have a lot of a lot of work together on it? Because you know, obviously, a, a cast of fourteen, you might be in the same show, but you don't really have a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. So actually, you're working together a lot. Yeah, we we. She's my ex-wife in the show, so oh, uh, okay. And sort of the subplot of the show is one of the subplots is our relationship. Okay. Uh, okay. Trying to essentially get back together again. And they're the music team, so yeah. they do a lot on stage together. Oh, really? Okay. That's okay. Great. Fantastic. Well, talk a little bit about your performance in it and what, what, uh, how you fit into the whole equation. Carmen Bernstein and her husband Sydney are the co-producers of the show. Okay. And Carmen is just a broad, brassy old lady who's mm -hmm. determined she's going to get this show on stage. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. who would this show be perfect for? Anyone who likes fun. Okay. And ages, what age range? We had talked earlier. <laughs> um, even though there's nothing really graphic in the show, there's some suggestions. Mm -hmm. okay. There are a few bad words. Okay. Um, so as a parent, I would be cautious about bringing younger children to okay. it. Okay. But it's nothing as bad as what you see on primetime television. Today. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I would say older elementary and up would older definitely enjoy it. Okay. Got it. So now, as the show opened, are we opening this weekend? We open next Friday, next May 15th. Friday. Okay. And it runs for four weekends. Okay. Great. Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoons. And where can people get tickets? AdobeTheater.org. AdobeTheater.org. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. So again, you got some time. You got a week to make those reservations and get more information at the AdobeTheater.org, which, of course, we will link to at Casa.com. Please pass on our break a leg to everyone there. Thank you. Have a great run of the show.